need to understand is that in all of this, which one, what relates to the finance minister in terms of the allegation made against him? What is it about it? I mean, as far as JOHL is concerned, I mean, the finance minister is not responsible for their revenues. I mean, obviously, we, we have to, at the end of the day, submit our financials, uh, GRA. We have to pay whatever assessed tax that we, we need to pay. And, and let me say that in 2023, we paid, JOHL paid 17 million. 2021, I'm sorry, I'm one year ahead of. 2021, JOHL paid 17 million to GRA as tax. On, on, on its operations. So, um, yeah, as far as the revenue is concerned, I, I don't think the finance minister has any any direct, um, uh, uh, let me call it control. Uh, I, I, I read the GMPC yes. Act, I read the Company yeah. Act okay. and the, okay. the okay. other okay. acts under okay. consecration. Okay. I, my, my understanding is entirely um, the same as the way you understand it, so um, I'll pass it on uh, to my other colleagues. If that, if that is the case, um, just, just, a, just a, and I mean, was any money paid into an offshore account? The hundred million was it paid into an offshore account? So, so honourable chair, I think, I think the word offshore, when we use, I mean, for those who are bankers, I mean, you can even have an offshore account in Ghana. So, I think the word when we say offshore, sometimes I get a bit confused because the Bank of Ghana has certain categorizations of uh, what you call it, foreign currency, and so what we call FCA, of offshore account. But to the extent that uh, the, the question relates to uh, receipts from, uh, from sale of crude, yeah, it was paid into an account held at Ghana International Bank in London. Okay, and who made the payment? So the buyer, the buyer of the crude. So bu buyers of the crude, even in the case of PHF, the buyers of the crude Pay, pay directly into the PHF. So they pay directly into whichever account that you did today for them to pay.